So here we are. We're at the beginning of a series about building a home here in the Philippines. And um, what do you do in the beginning? In the beginning, you would first buy your property, right? You want to secure your property. That is a tough decision right there. That's going to be your biggest decision right there. Mark my words. If you're building a full-size home and you're really investing into it, that is your biggest decision right there. That's the first step you need to make towards really being careful. Now, I know a lot of foreigners out there are going to say, how can I own land in my name in the Philippines? Because you're having a hard time to let your money go um, to a property that can't fully be in your name. And you just really want to have that control over it. Well, I'm sorry, you cannot. And if you're so worried about that, maybe you might want to rethink about owning a house here or building a house here. Maybe a condo is a better option for you or just renting. Because you can rent some really great and big houses here for a cheap price and you don't have to worry about all that. Well, that, that's your biggest decision right there in the beginning, day one, is the property. Now, the next thing that we want to talk about on the property is uh, when you buy a piece of property, you're going to start looking and they're going to say, oh, I have a friend over here. I have a friend over there, I have an uncle over here, I have a Tita over there. Um, and they're gonna all try to point you different directions and, it, and if you go to a realtor, the same thing. And here's the problem. You can't guarantee a clear title on that property the way that the Philippine laws are on inheritance and, um, and airship on that. Man, there could be heirs, just so many, especially where there's large families here. It's very common to have a large family. It's very common. There could be 10, 11, 12, 13 siblings, you know. Well, Linda's from a family of 10. And, uh, man, there it goes. It's all split different directions. It takes everybody's signature. Also, you're going to have family that's not going to get along. You're going to have brothers and sisters or... Maybe there's nieces or nephews that then turned out to be the inheritor and the, their dad's them passed on, which was one of the siblings, and now a niece or somebody else ended up with it. And, oh, I don't like that part of the family or he did me wrong 15 years ago or my papa didn't like him. And they're going to throw a monkey wrench in your plans to sell, well, whoever's selling the property and their plans to sell the property. And then... Uh, you may have went and got a survey and you might have went and, and did a, a paperwork and a bill of sale and went to an attorney and everything and you think man I got this this is done and three four five years later somebody shows up and does a claim against the property you've done built a big house on it all this stuff you know oh my goodness so in our instance we bought property in this subdivision a lot that's never been sold before that the government has cleared and gave titles to every one of these lots through surveys and we are the original owner and that gives us a lot of safety yes i would have liked to had maybe some farmland somewhere i'm a farm boy everything i looked at it scared me because you don't know what's going to happen. You know, oh, we're, we reduced this price for a rush sale. Why are you rushing? And the price sometimes sounds too good. And you pass on it. And then you hear the next year or the year after that that piece of property, they'll say, you know that piece of property that you looked at out there at that farm? Well, they sold it, but now their cousin is filed a claim on it and now it's tied up and they're all fighting and then you go I'm glad I did not buy that piece of property so that's another reason that we bought here and even though I'm not big on HOAs and POAs and all of that this gave me security of where 
the money was going and he gave me for some security for Melinda too. Now, the next thing is, say like you are making a substantial, substantial investment and you're not sure if your future is always going to be good with this person you're with, you know, um, maybe you got that question mark or maybe you just don't. Maybe you're worried that what if my, my wife, my Asawa passes away and her family tries to come in and take everything from you. Um, well, the best thing you can do is lease the property back. So like, for instance, a lease back. Um, Melinda, the property is basically in her name. We, we're co-owners as long as we're, we're married, right? But she she's the prime person on it. I'm just like a blot of ink over to the side. And um, the thing is though, is I can lifetime lease property. I can do a long-term lease. I can do a 50-year term and I seriously doubt I'm gonna be around 50 years. If I am, I'm just not gonna get a darn, okay? If I'm that old, I'm just gonna smile every day that I'm still here. And um, it's renewable for a 25 term after that. So, uh, so let's just say that there was sour grapes between Mel and I, I could still retain this property. Um, let's say that if something happened to Melinda, tragic car accident, we don't know what's gonna happen in this world. Um, and there's airships and her family was to come in on any of it. Well, first of all, I have the rights to um, dispose of the property over a certain period of time. I have to dispose of it as a foreigner because I can't hold the title alone. Or another Filipino could be brought in on the title and I continue to hold it. Um, so, so there's that way is that if something happened to her and I'm, I can take and dispose of the property and if I don't dispose it during a certain time frame, the family can come in and file rights for it. But um, I have the first rights. And, but if I'm holding a lease, even if the family took any kind of ownership, they have to uphold my lease and my lease will be until probably I'm ever gone from this world so they can't take possession of the property. Mel's walking around with our handsome little nephew. Do you want to show everybody our handsome little nephew? Say hi. Hi, Can you say hi? Hello. There you go. Ha, ha, ha. Kiss. Kiss. Give everyone a kiss. Uh, wow. Oh my goodness, he is so great. I enjoy him so much. <laughs> He's gonna be my future little helper here, I'm telling you. Uh, <laughs> I think we're going to head back home, it's about to rain. Yeah. You know, you can get out there on the internet and you're gonna read 10 million different comments. And there's always these people trying to post these, you know, just bad ways of trying to circumvent laws. Don't circumvent the laws. Man, I'm telling you what, if you want no guarantee, circumvent the law. And then I guarantee you, you have no rights. You will get caught up with, it will be shown, and you will have no rights. Follow the law, as we do, and then you can rest at peace.